All right, let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio of the World Famous Mermaid Lounge for another episode of Rebear with Charlie. Got a kind of a special one today. Yes. Thing that you can see we're already set up, we've already poured, we couldn't <laughs> wait. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, um, it's that time of year again. We can't tell our free beer community how excited we are. We get to the end of the year and there's so many, so many holiday beers, so many specials that come out. And Black Friday, what do we look forward to, Big Al? Bourbon County Stout. Bourbon County. And we got to give a shout out to Goose Island. And I don't think they promoted this enough, but this is the 10th anniversary of Goose Island coming out on Black Friday. Yeah, so you'll need to check out our past video uh, 2019 yes. when it came out and we did a review on that. Awesome stuff. Oh, we're hoping fantastic. it's just as good or better. And we can't tell you enough how we're sitting here getting wafts of this. <clears throat> yeah, and it's this so should be hard. an air freshener. Oh, it should be. Yeah. We're, it's so hard for us to not just sit here and try to sip this. But anyway, we'll get to that. So. Once again, shout out to Goose Island for doing this on Black Friday. This is the 2020 edition. Yes. So in the past, we've done some videos on Goose Island. So there's some information out there that you can get on our, our Rumble channel, our YouTube channel, our website, freebearwithcharlie.com. But uh, just to bring it back up, tell us a little bit about... Yeah, just to recap, um, Goose Island started back in Chicago in 1988. You know, we love the Windy City, we love Goose Island, but just to reiterate, this is this is monumental this year, 2020, because this is the 10th anniversary of Bourbon County coming out on Black Friday. Yeah, now Bourbon County Stout is a beer made by Goose Island, and like we said, it's released uh, every Black Friday. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we have, uh, of course, 2020's version. We did a video last year. We want to see what this one's going to be like, if it's going to be similar. Um, now there's a... Uh, we hope so. Yeah. It's, so it's aged in bourbon barrels. Yes. Right? We've got uh, uh, Buffalo Trace, we got Haven Hill, and we've got Wild Turkey. So that's really quite a, quite a feat right there, grabbing all those barrels, aging your beer for, what is it, aged for eight months or yes, something like that? Yes, basically eight to ten months. But what's exciting is the uh, companies Big Al talked about is they have had bourbon in them for a minimum of a year. So you think about this process, that means right now as we're coming to you, there's a warehouse in Chicago that is loaded full of beer. In three different kinds in three of, different kinds bourbon, of bourbon, bourbon barrels, waiting to be fermented to mix to put out next year. And then they mix all three of the brands of, of uh, bourbon barrels together to make this, uh, this beer. This beer. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. And I believe they have seven varieties in total. Now, the only thing that doesn't get a nationwide uh, distribution is their proprietor. And you got to give Goose Island, they love their locals, so they keep the proprietor's brand for the Chicago area. Yeah. And I think that's fantastic. Talk about, you know, huge. So you can always go there and get it. Yes. That. And, that's, and from what we've read, I mean, people literally do that. They line up to get this so they can get one of every variety. Cause like around us here in Southern Missouri, we can't get all seven varieties. Right. So, you know, it's it's a it's a big deal to even get this and we're we're thankful we well, can. And we wonder how much they changed. Now this is a what a four point a uh, fourteen point six yeah. percent. Last year's was a fourteen point seven percent alcohol. Slight difference there. Right. But uh, part of the difference uh, is uh, how it's aged in the barrels, right? Right. Chicago, this winter could be a lot colder than last winter. Well, then this coming summer could be a lot hotter than last summer yeah. was. And humidity plays a And humidity factor. plays a huge factor. Yeah. Well, and the thing I didn't think about is you think, okay, what's the end result of this? They're using the same bourbon barrels with the same beer mix, but think about it. Everything that happens in climate, expansion and contraction, pulls different textures, different flavors, different varieties out of that barrel stave. So we're excited to try this one and see how much we remember it tastes different from last yeah. year. And I, you know, like I said, last year, I don't think I quite grasped that because the more you learn about this process, the more you understand that 
quite an operation. Oh, quite an operation. <laughs> I mean, we're talking a year in advance to get what we're drinking now. So I'm excited to try this one. Well, I tell you right now, the smell is amazing. Oh because my gosh. Oh, it's almost a licorice. It's it a, is. It's kind of a little bit smoky. Mm hmm Very sweet smelling. Yeah. I mean, you can smell the sweetness of it. And that's, Big Al hit it. It's, it's a licorice and a smoky and that, the sweetness definitely yeah. has a smell. It uh, is just... You can tell there's malt. I get a lot of malt there. And you get a tinge of bourbon though, too. Mm -hmm. there's, there's that, and I think that's part of that sweetness, smokiness. Yeah, I bet that is. Wow, let's just, let's try it. Wow. Oh. I mean, I, that's amazing. I mean, that's, uh, that's beer. Oh, yeah. but it's a very I mean, unique that's, beer. Oh, uh, yeah, that's so many levels above a beer. Mm. My goodness. That's Please. sweetness. What do you think on that? I have to say, I think that's over the top. That's got to be a three. Yeah, that's it. That is sweet. I'm going to keep you from guzzling it. It's not going to be a, a guzzler. Of course, the alcohol content is going to keep you from guzzling. Yeah, and I, I think that's one thing you can tell by the, the head on this. There is a lace with what head there is, but, yeah, you know, this is this is definitely a, a highly complex beer. Mm-hmm. But, uh, well, let's talk about that. Yeah, so it's complex. It's definitely complex. But it's it's not a guzzler, obviously. So in oh, our no. categories, you're not going to guzzle this. This would be a sipper. Yeah. This would be uh, in... Uh, you know, just enjoy little sips at a time. Yeah. I mean, this is this is definitely, uh, we'd have to class as, as a dessert beer, too. Yeah. I mean, so think you have about, a big steak oh. off the grill, and everybody at the table gets a little shot glass of this, kind of as a dessert. Oh, um, it'd be just wonderful. I mean, this, I mean, I, I while you said that, I'm thinking my mouth starts watering. Thinking yeah. About, <laughs> you know, how, how you do at, at Big Al's Barbecue with that, that smokiness of that steak coming off the grill, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I just, it, it would melt in your mouth and then follow it up with this. That would yes, be people fantastic. would be amazed. This is beer? Yeah, this is beer. See, that's, I, I don't, I, I'm still dumbfounded with, I know they have a beer recipe, but how they take that in the three different varieties of bourbon barrels and then mix that and come out with that, it's yeah. phenomenal. I just, uh, what do you think overall, Big Al? Charlie, I'm thinking this is five. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, this is our big one. This is a, this is a great, great yeah. product. You talk about an art form, they, they have mastered it by this point. Yes. I mean, after 10 years, now this, can you imagine just having supper, friends sitting around, campfire, snow falling down. Oh my God. Sitting in the hot tub. Man. <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to compare this to last year's. You know, I think at the Mermaid Lounge, we still have some 2019. We need to compare it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Okay, so I did find a 2019. Thank goodness. Okay, so pour us each a glass of 2019 to go along with this. We're gonna kind of compare them side by side and just see. Now, one thing we gotta reiterate to our free beer community is the fact that we've had this at the uh, Mermaid Lounge studio for a year. Yeah. So we don't know, we did, we'll give you a little disclaimer, we did toss it in to chill it down a little bit yeah. for us, so it's not at room temperature. But we don't know how this is gonna change because it's literally been, yeah. what are we gonna say, fermenting, processing, I mean, enhancing for a year. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but the thing is, uh, we know what we did a review on it last year, so yes. we know what it was like, but we didn't know what it was going to be like a year, a year later. later. Yeah, so this could be interesting. What do we got in this beer anyway? What we've got is Millennium Hops, Two Row Malt, Black Malt, Caramel Malt, Chocolate Malt, Munich Tin Malt, Roasted Barley Malt. So yeah, we're hoping that we can keep one of these behind every year so that we can compare them year to year and see yeah. what effect they have. So let's let's just see what this new one's the the new one. The old yeah, the smells old one. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm getting um, a lot stronger smell out of the 2020. I yeah, I, I can I can vouch for that. Uh, and it's, this one has warmed up slightly. <clears throat> Which may be that. That's the surprising. The smell is similar that I guess. Yes, but, but it's very, 
I'm surprised that it's faint. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is very pronounced. And mm -hmm. I remember last year, that was one thing we talked about is the aroma oh, that yeah. came into the room. Yeah. Well, let's, let's take a sip of it and see what the 2019. Oh, that is oh. good. No, okay, now that's, is that not different? I think so. It's smoother. It's definitely smoother. Mm hmm You hit the nail on the head. Boy, that's good. Wow, that is good. Wow. Okay, so we need to think of this in perspective. So, the 2020 is technically a year old because it's been yes. in the process for a year. Yeah. So, our 2019 now theoretically is two years old mm -hmm. um wow yeah uh i just want i think our free beer community i want to discover those differences yeah i think our free beer community needs to get a hold of even if they haven't started next year in 2021 you need to get a hold of one and set it aside yeah because you'll be glad you did yes um wow so it's like I a whole new beer I can tell the similarities. Mm -hmm. You know, there. I mean, it's Definitely. obviously the same recipe, <clears throat> but the flavor is is slightly different. Do I would choose a, this one. Yes. Do you get a? I'm getting more of that smoky barrel aged out of the 2019. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, that may be what's making it smoother. I'm not really sure. This one has a bit of a bite to it that the other one Right, has. and that's that's a good way to put it. It's mm -hmm. a bite. And I think, I think the bite is the sweetness. It seems like the 2020 has a sweeter bite to it. Yeah, this has mellowed out some. Yes. It's mellow, it's, it's like, it's like the flavors have infused more. Mm -hmm. And it's in, a, in that infusion, it's made it smoother. Wow. And not, not saying 2020 is fantastic. Oh, it's great beer. I mean, I just, I would have never guessed in a year it would have manipulated to this. Yes. But it's so smoky and smooth and it just, it's easy drinking. I wonder if anybody has a bottle of the 2010. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd like to try that out. <laughs> Shout out to Goose Island. Goose Island. Surely you got by one. By chance, you've got back one on a shelf on somewhere. A shelf somewhere. Please you know, get it to Somebody's got us. one in a filing cabinet or something. <laughs> yeah. And, well, something I think we need to, to tell everybody about is, you know, when we started this, luckily we ran into enough people. We didn't know about this process with Goose Island till last year. Yeah. So we're excited now to look forward to five years from now. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep holding these back and see. But don't um, forget, mark on your calendar, Black Friday. Black Friday. Uh, underneath Black Friday in big letters, put Bourbon County. <laughs> Because and, that is uh, probably more important than Black Friday. You know, uh, who cares and, about Black Friday right. anymore? Well, and I remember <laughs> last year us joking because my wife and daughter were out Black Friday shopping while my son and I, what'd we do? Well, we went looking for new beer. And yeah, found and he's it. only three. So yeah. he's like, so, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, just keep that in. <laughs> oh, anyway. But, wow. I, uh, that's amazing. I mean, that's I'm, amazing I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm, once again, this is twice. <laughs> this is twice in a very short period of time. I almost don't know what to say. Wow. That is amazingly smooth. I would treat this beer the exact same way, though. This is a dessert beer. Oh, yeah. A sipper. Complex. This would be great with a big steak or oh. something. <clears throat> um, it's just a little bit smoother mm -hmm. than the other one. It is. It's just that smoothness that is richer. Can it be richer but smoother? I mean, is that possible? They're both so rich. I don't know. It's like the difference between chocolate and fudge. Yeah, it's like yeah, exactly. You know, this That's is, a good this way to put fudge. Yeah. This is rich. You can't have a lot of it because you know. Well, you because sick. I was gonna say because <laughs> I don't want to say that getting sick on something, but uh, you know, this is this is just yeah, rich. I'm I'm a junk food junkie. I mean, I. I couldn't function without sugar, <laughs> and that is sweet, but it is, it is that over and above good Very sweet. good. Very yeah. good. Well, we can't give a shout out enough to Bourbon County. Keep doing what you do. Um, 
Wow. I think on a scale of one to R5, this is definitely a five plus. Oh yeah. And last year. Amazing. Amazing. So Big Al? Charlie? I, I guess we better hit both of them. Yeah. Here's the God Guns and Rock and Roll. Amen. Boy, I got them in order too, 2019, 2020. Those are good. Our Free Bear community, coming out of Chicago, if you've been there since the start of this, please comment. Let us know if you've done this, if you've kept some back every year. Yeah. Let us know what you think, how they've progressed, how they've yeah, we'd like flavor, to smell, everything. Please, let us let us know. We yeah. appreciate it. You're fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Appreciate it. Don't forget, I'm Big Al. I'm Charlie. Till next time. Here's the world famous Mermaid Lounge. Actually, the studio. The, the world studio, famous yeah. Mermaid Lounge. Yeah. He's at my own now. Okay. <laughs> We're back at this. And once again, Big Al has flipped it up. <laughs> but Goose Island started back in Chicago in 1988. That's all you got? Hang on. I, I, <laughs> I had a big part. Okay, 1980. I was right. And him and went, wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with your TV. That was just a yeah, technical difference. Yeah, that was technical. <laughs>